Hi, I'm Stuart Appleby. Congratulations on purchasing the leaderboard. A few quick things we're going to have to run through, show you how to dismantle it and how to set it up. Okay, let's look at a few simple things about the leaderboard, how we're going to disassemble it and how we're going to get it all together. First thing we're going to do is this is the hitting platform, the one with the white cross lines on it. We've got a little holding rack back here, we're just going to un unclip that, place that out of the way. Here is the hitting platform, place that on the side. Now we're left with the basically the whole guts of the thing, the leaderboard. Let's unclip here. There's a small little toggle tag there. We're going to unflip, which folds the leaderboard all the way out. Now, there's two parts to it. We've got a fixed platform, which is exactly what it is. Fixed, won't go anywhere. And we've got the sliding skate, which, as you can see, moves back and forward on the rails. The big thing here, what we want to make sure of, is that you always use or step one or both feet onto the platform before ever moving the skate in either direction. Let's talk about the resistance. You've got the resistance cords on the back here. You've got two different colours, different, different, obviously different weights. And to actually lock and unlock them, now I'm moving this from the unlock, the neutral position. There's a black one in already, locked in, black one on the bottom. Let's get the purple, lock that one in, lock that one in. There's a resistance that's set up. If I take away, I make the skate easier to slide. Just like that. Now it's recommended that when you do initially set up the skate that you set it up in a resistance that's very easy to perform, nothing is too strenuous, you just want to take your time, move the skate easily. Recommended that you start off a very low resistance, somewhere around maybe one or two of the purples. And as you get stronger and more developed you can go into different levels. Most important thing is to put your first foot on the fixed platform at all times. Then you can put your other foot on the sliding skate. Initially what you want to feel after you've set up your resistance is just a little bit of movement. You want to generally and gradually feel the tension building in the skate. And if it feels comfortable and you feel happy with it physically, you can take the skate out to further and further. Taller people will generally be more comfortable with it out in the outer extremities. Shorter people may be in here a little bit more. There are four key principles to using the leaderboard. And you'll hear me saying these terms, set, load, store and explode. You'll hear me saying that over and over and over. But those are the four key principles that make you hit it straighter, longer and more consistent. Let's get started and show you how this thing really works. Okay, we're going to start with step one, the most important fundamental step in developing more power and more consistency in the golf swing. First of all, let's start with the hands on the hips, step onto the fixed platform with both feet, going to unpop your knees, just gently feel like they're over the top of your toes. Then leaning across with the other foot on the sliding skate, we're going to gently slide it out to the right. Make little motions back and forward. What we're trying to feel and achieve here is the feeling of some tension in the legs, activity. Maintaining your posture, feeling like your body is bent at the waist, just back and forward. This is the fundamental task that I take on every day to build a solid foundation for the golf swing. So feel that, and feel that the knees are over the toes, not in, out, solid. And let's turn around and see the rear point of view for that. Swapping legs on the fixed platform, sliding across to the sliding skate, and feeling it in the other leg. This is probably one of the most important things I do on a daily ritual, before and after a round. It's a postural base for the golf swing. What I'm going to do is put both feet onto the fixed platform, hands on the hips, keeping nice and tall, just unpop the knees. I'm going to take one of the legs, either or, put on the sliding skate and push back. Now straight away you can see now that I've got the shape of my body in the setup, in the swing. It forces the body to get in an active position for the setup. Very, very important. Swap legs. Let's get the same feeling with the other leg. Again, we're looking to keep nice and tall. Just slide that back. See how my body's bent at the waist, knees flexed. Good posture. Good posture, more power. Okay, we've done the first two very, very important exercises to give you a feeling of what the setup's like. Now we're going to actually take it to the, to the leaderboard and the hitting station and replicate that with a real swing. I'm going to do again, starting with the hands on hips, stepping up onto the flex platform, stepping on, knees again, just unpopped and bent, sliding across, feel that resistance again, bending at the waist, and what we're going to do is now just take our hands off our hips and just bring them relaxed, 
hanging down in front of you. Feel that your head's nice and tall. Feel the leg feeling we had before. Now we've got the postural shape from our spine, which we mentioned before, and now we've got the arms hanging. So now we've got what feels like a real setup. Let's grab a club and put that into effect. Now how we're going to set the club up is we're going to put it behind our backs, behind our bottoms, palms facing forward, stepping on, fixed platform again, reaching over, knees unpopped, bend at the waist, keeping our shoulders back. That's why the club's behind us, to give the feeling of shoulders back. Head nice and tall, and let's just bring the club gently around. Similar position to where our arms were hanging, but now we've got a club in our hand. Right here, as you can see, this is the same sort of setup that I use on the golf course, on the range, and obviously in the gym for something like this. There's your setup. We've learned how to get a good solid base for the setup. Let's learn how now to load it. Stepping onto the fixed platform, popping the knees, sliding the skate across to the right. Gently put your arms on your chest. Now we're going to load the swing. Straight away the feeling that I'm getting is that I'm feeling resistance and, and, and loading and, and power storage in the right side. Now let's do that again. Slide, bend, load. Slide, bend, load. Here's another loading exercise that's very critical for setting up good posture. Let's stand onto the fixed platform again. Left foot back, arms on chest. We're going to load again and turn. Feel the resistance, you'll feel the twisting in your back. Let's do that again. Slide it back, load. Set, load. Set, load. We've seen a couple of the set load exercises without a club. Let's bring in a club and really re replicate the real swing. Stepping onto the fixed platform, sliding across, and take our grip. We've got our stance, we've got a solid foundation, we've set the skate, and we're going to load into the backswing. Back, set, load. Set, load. Now we're going to do the postural exercise, this time with a club in our hands. Stepping onto the fixed platform, sliding our left foot back, getting our posture, just gently bring the club out in front of it. Load. Set. Load. Feeling the tension, set. Load. The build up resistance in the right leg. Set. Load. Maintaining my shape at all times. We've loaded all the power and let's store it for the critical part of making the downswing. Club on your chest. Load to the backswing. We slide the skate over to the left for the storage of the power. Here. You'll have a slight inclination to feel like the club wanting to start a downswing. That's okay, just gentle. Storing, degree of turn. Storing, storing. Start back again. Load, store. Load, store. Load, store. Let's do the load and store exercise this time with a club out in front of us. We're going to load the backswing. And we're going to store it by sliding the skate across away from us. Let's do that again. Load, store. Now you can see I'm having just a small portion of my downswing. That's basically where all the power is kept for impact. Load. Store. Just a small downswing, just a little one like that. We don't want the club down here, just a little at the top. Load. Store. Load. Store. You'll feel both sides of the legs feeling very ready for impact where the power is stored for the downswing. Load. 
store. Now we're going to take on some rotational exercises that are going to help us put this all together. Fix, stand onto the fixed platform, slide the skate over, arms out in front of us like before, this time he's doing a rocking motion. You can see the triangle in front of my chest here, we're going to be rocking that to the right, to the left. Everything else is quiet. What we're going to feel is the chest, the abdominal muscles taking the club back and through. Next one is, skate back to neutral, right foot back. Postural position, arms out in front again, rotating the shoulders, keeping that triangle constant. Body nice and quiet, shoulders rocking. Just rotation, back and forward. Next one, we turn around the opposite position. Left foot out now, same, but sliding the skate away. Take your postural position again, rotating, feeling like the hands are directly under your chest, maintaining that triangle. Okay, now for the final one, culminating all those first three exercises together. Cross your arms, slide the skate over, load, store, and we're going to explode, which is going to be the downswing, the final through swing to the left. Here we go, one movement. Load, store, explode. You'll find it a little bit tricky early on for the balance on the follow through. Just be patient with it. Load, store, explode. Try and feel like you're nice and tall when you follow through. Load, store, explode. One more time. Store, explode. Now let's do those four exercises culminating in the full swing with a golf club. Standing on the fixed platform, setting, loading, storing, explode. Let's do it again. Set. Load, store, explode. Really what you want to focus on is your balance in the through swing. Set, load, store, explode. Let's do that one quick motion, the normal rhythm of the swing. So we've got our set, load, store and explode drills organised. We're going to take it now to the hitting platform, execute a full and complete balanced and powerful swing. Fixed platform, slide the skate over, set the hitting platform corresponding to your normal club of choice. For me, I'm using an 8-iron this particular time. I've got my ball position set. Set it over, turn to the top, we're going to hit it. So you can see with that movement of those four, set, load, store and explode, they are the four keys that I practice daily, before and after a round. You do that on a daily basis, I'll guarantee you'll hit the ball longer and straighter and more consistent. Good luck. <laughs>